Peter Jean Hernandez, born October 8, 1985, known professionally as Bruno Mars, is an American singer, songwriter, record producer, musician, and dancer. He is known for his stage performances, retro showmanship, and for performing in a wide range of musical styles, including pop, R&B, funk, soul, reggae, hip-hop, disco and rock. Mars is accompanied by his band, The Hooligans, who play a variety of instruments, such as electric guitar, bass, piano, keyboards, drums, and horns, and also serve as backup singers and dancers. Born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii, Mars moved to Los Angeles in 2003 to pursue a musical career. In 2009, he co-founded the production team The Smeezingtons, responsible for various successful singles for Mars himself and other artists. He rose to fame in 2010 Boyd, by the success of Nothing On You by B.O.B and Billionaire by Travi McCoy, both of which featured his vocals. That year Mars released his debut studio album Do Wops and Hooligans, which blended pop with reggae pop and R&B. It spawned the international number one singles Just The Way You Are, Grenade, and The Lazy Song, drawing inspiration from disco, funk, rock, reggae, and soul genres. His second studio album, Unorthodox Jukebox, 2012, was his first number one on the Billboard 200. It amassed two Billboard Hot 100 number one hits, Locked Out of Heaven and When I Was Your Man. In 2014, Mars was featured on Mark Ronson's Uptown Funk, which topped various music charts, spending a total of 14 and 7 weeks atop the Billboard Hot 100 and the UK Singles Chart, respectively. Mars's third studio album, the R&B focused, 24K Magic, 2016, received seven Grammy Awards, winning the major categories of Album of the Year, Record of the Year, and Song of the Year. The album also yielded the top five singles 24K Magic, That's What I Like, his seventh Billboard Hot 100 number one single, and a remix of Finesse featuring Cardi B. In 2021, Mars collaborated with Anderson.Pock as Silk Sonic on the full-length album An Evening with Silk Sonic, whose single Leave the Door Open topped the Billboard Hot 100. Mars has sold over 130 million records worldwide, making him one of the best-selling music artists of all time. He has released eight number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100 since his career launched in 2010, attaining his first five faster than any male artist since Elvis Presley. Mars became the first artist to receive five Diamond Certified Songs in the United States. He was included in Music Week and Billboard magazine as one of the best songwriters of 2011 and 2013, respectively. Mars has received several awards and nominations, including 11 Grammy Awards, 3 Brit Awards, 9 American Music Awards, 10 Soul Train Awards and holds 3 Guinness World Records. He appeared in Time Magazine's annual list of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2011, Forbes Magazine's list of 30 under 30 in 2013, and Forbes's Celebrity 100 in 2014, 2018, and 2019. Eric Hernandez, Mars's brother, has continuously served as the drummer for his backup band, The Hooligans. Their sisters, Tierra, Tahiti, and Presley, as well as their cousin Jamie, make up the all-girl music group The Lilas. When she was young, Jamie moved in with the siblings due to parental issues. Mars began dating model Jessica Cabin in 2011. The two remain a couple as of 2019, residing together in a mansion in the Hollywood Hills with a Rottweiler named Geronimo. Mars returned from an overseas gig in May 2013 when he learned in the Los Angeles airport that his mother was gravely ill. He immediately got on a plane to Hawaii. His mother died the next day. On June 2, 2013, a publicist for Atlantic Records confirmed to the Associated Press that Mars's mother had suffered a brain aneurysm. She had died on June 1, 2013, at age 55, at Queens Medical Center in Honolulu, Hawaii. Later, on June 7, 2013, the singer wrote about the loss of his mother on Twitter, so thankful for all the love during the most difficult time in my life. I'll be back on my feet again soon. That's what mom wants, she told me, 25 in 2013, Mars told Rolling Stone that record executives had trouble categorizing him, and were consequently unsure which radio stations would play his songs, or to which ethnic group, black or white, 
he would appeal. In the same month, he confessed that Nothing On You was rejected by a music industry decision maker because of his race. That experience made him feel like a mutant, and he says that was his lowest point. Even with that song in my back pocket to seal the deal, things like that are coming out of people's mouths. It made me feel like I wasn't even in the room. In 2018, Mars was accused during the Grapevine, a series that explores African-American issues, of cultural appropriation on social media for using his racial ambiguity to profit from black music, and was criticized for mimicking the sound of past artists. Various black celebrities, including Stevie Wonder, Charlie Wilson, Ninth Wonder, Marjua Estevez, and Stereo Williams dismissed the accusations. Mars has spoken often about his influences and has given credit to several black artists, such as Babyface, Teddy Riley, and Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Billboard estimated Mars's earnings at $18,839,681, making him the 12th highest paid musician of 2013. Forbes magazine began reporting his earnings in 2014, calculating that the $60 million earned between June 2013 to June 2014, for his music and tour, made him 13th on the list of the Celebrity 100 list. In June 2017, Mars ranked 6th on the Forbes world's highest paid celebrities, earning an estimated $39 million from June 2016 through June 2017. In July 2018, Forbes announced that Mars was America's highest paid musician of 2017, with an estimated total of $100 million. This, in turn, placed him at number 11 on the Celebrity 100 list as well as being his highest yearly earnings to date. In 2019, he was placed at number 54 on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list, with estimated earnings of $51.5 million between June 1, 2018, and June 1, 2019. On January 28, 2014, Demetrius Orlandes Proctor filed a lawsuit, claiming he holds the copyright for the McCoy and Mars track Billionaire. Proctor claimed he owned the copyright to the music and lyrics of the track since March 31, 2011, though the song was released a year before. As evidence, Proctor has submitted a United States Copyright Office registration certificate for Frisky Volume 1 to 30, tapes, issued in 2000. Proctor accused McCoy and Mars of willful and intentional infringement of copyright, seeking the destruction of all copies of the recording. Proctor claims he has exclusive rights to reproduce and distribute the song. Uptown Funk by Ronson and Mars has received various accusations and lawsuits over copyright infringement. In 2015, similarities with Oops Upside Your Head, 1979, by the Gap Band led them, along with keyboardist Rudolph Taylor and producer Lonnie Simmons to be added as co-writers of Uptown Funk and receive publishing royalties. In the same year, Serbian artist Victoria argued that Uptown Funk infringed on one of her tracks. She decided not to sue Mars and Ronson. In 2016, electro-funk band Collage sued Ronson and Mars for copying their single, Young Girls, 1983, while The Sequence, a rap group, claimed it infringed their single Funk You Up, 1979, and sued a year later. In 2017, La Strada Entertainment filed a lawsuit due to similarities with more Bounce to the Ounce, 1980, by Zap. The company seeks damage, a jury trial and prevent Ronson from profiting with Uptown Funk. In 2018, the collage and Zap lawsuits were dropped, it was not revealed if there had been any financial settlement. Treasure was re-registered with new writing credits, which included The Bot Berland and Christopher Kahn, due to the similarities with Breakbots. Baby I'm Yours. Mars was raised on his father's 1950s doo-wop collection, simple four-chord songs that got straight to the point, and on Little Richard, Frankie Lyman, Little Anthony, and Jerry Lee Lewis. As a child, Mars spent time impersonating Elvis Presley. This play acting had a major impact on his musical evolution, he later reflected, I'm a big fan of 1950s Elvis when he would go on stage and scare people because he was a force and girls would go nuts. You can say the same thing for Prince or the police. It's just guys who know that people are here to see a show, so I watch those guys and I love studying them because I'm a fan. He also impersonated Michael Jackson, another major inspiration. 
the hip-hop productions by the Neptunes and Timbaland, that were played on the radio, also influenced him. Tell us your favorite Bruno Mars song. If you like a particular album or feature of his, let us know in the comments. Subscribe to our channel.